Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's tutorial on how to uh, fix the black screen of death uh, on a Samsung Android phone. Okay guys, so basically um, a lot of people have a problem whereby they do try to do some firmware upgrades or um, they try to um, root their phone and they get what's called a black screen of death uh, which is, I'll show you in a second if we can break my phone here hopefully I'll be able to, to fix it going to put the phone into into download mode. Let's see if it will get there. Okay. I'm going to plug it in. And I'm just really quickly going to break it by doing a repartition. break it here, we'll put it into, hopefully it will go into the uh, black screen of death, okay, which is this this um, icon here, and it's basically a little mobile phone, and then an exclamation mark, and then a PC, okay, so when you get this black screen of death, on some phones you can just hold down the, the volume down button, the home button, and the power button. Uh, hold that down for 10 seconds and you can put it straight back into downloading mode okay the other thing you can do as well um, if this happens is to actually power off the phone and then take the take the uh, back off the phone and take the battery out Right, you can see that screen has come up again. We're actually going to start the phone, take the battery out, leave it out for five seconds, and then pop it back in. Okay, power it back on. Still got that uh, black screen of death. And then we're going to hold down the de the power the volume down button the home button and the power button and hold that down and then that'll put us back into downloading mode again okay so once we're in downloading mode then we should be able to just go through and reset the phone all right so that's how you get out of that black screen of death um, mode and what you can also do hold down your power button here with any luck we should be able to turn it off and get it back into that black screen of death alright so if you wanted to fix this now you can hold down your power put it back into download mode and once you've got it into download mode then you can join it back into into Odin Okay, like that and at this stage you can go through and reset the phone or apply your firmware all over again with Odin and I've done a separate tutorial on how you can do that alright guys so thanks thanks for watching uh, if this was helpful please leave a thumbs up and uh, if you have any feedback uh, please leave some feedback on the website Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.